there's another creation myth around. That creation myth is called the Big Bang Theory. And what this creation myth says is that in the beginning, there was nothing. And that nothing suddenly exploded. Now, think about this. You see, is this actually a scientific statement? Does it sound scientific? Does it sound rational? The astronomer Heather Cooper, writing in a children's book called The Big Bang, said this, it was a nothing so profound it defies human comprehension. Now, is that a statement of scientific opinion? It actually sounds more like a belief system. Brad Lemley said this, he said, to the average person it might seem like nothing can happen in nothing, but to a quantum physicist, nothing is in fact something. Again, I ask, is that a scientific statement? Brad Lemley goes on to say that quantum theory also holds that a vacuum is subject to quantum uncertainties. This means that things can materialize out of the vacuum, although they tend to vanish back into it. This phenomenon has never been observed directly. Now, scientists love to use big words and flyery phrases, so let's just translate what he said into English. What he said is, things appear out of nothing, and then they disappear back into nothing. And oh, by the way, nobody's ever seen that happen. Now, if nobody's ever seen it happen, how do they know that it has happened? It actually is, again, not a statement of science. It is a statement of belief.